Bodystat Limited was founded in 1990 and has since become recognized as one of the leading developers of BIA devices worldwide, providing quality expertise and a first-class service to a range of reputable companies and institutions globally. Indeed, the technology of bioelectrical impedance analysis was first introduced to the UK by Bodystat. Our focus is on the development of this technology and its application in the fitness, health and medical markets. Bodystat has an enviable reputation for producing high-quality body composition monitoring devices with excellent qualities of measurement, precision and accuracy. We're known for our superior level of after-sales service. Customer support is provided by our long-serving, highly qualified staff. Continued research is a major focus for further development of technology into the sports, science and medical field. We maintain extensive communication with researchers on an international level to constantly extend technology application and to break down the barriers of science. Bodystat's online research digest boasts a large and growing number of scientific research papers in peer review journals, validating our devices in various practical applications. Bodystat has three main devices. These measure at different frequencies which provide additional information on the health status of humans and horses. Our first device is the Bodystat 1500 unit, single frequency unit, ideal for adults. It measures the fat mass, the lean body mass, and also total body water. We, here we target the personal trainers, the military, um, fitness clubs, pharmaceutical companies who use our devices for their clinical drug trials. Uh, weight loss clinics as well, this is very important. Anybody on a weight loss program should really be looking at their body composition to ensure that they're losing fat mass and not total muscle mass, which is the muscle mass which really burns the uh, excess calories. Our other device, our second device, is our Body Step 1500 MDD. Um, that's suitable for children and adults. It's a two frequency machine. It does exactly the same as the Body Step 1500, but now we can also look at a health index, which we call a wellness marker, to look at the nutritional status of the body cells. Target market over here is the obesity, the wellness market, uh, doctors, uh, and of course medical screening clinics. Uh, it might be an interesting point that with the B subjects, uh, you can actually be malnourished. We can actually detect this with our device. And the big problem with obesity is that overfatness can actually hide and over uh, a disease that might be uh, potentially developing. So it's important for doctors to use the right technology. As far as the QuadScan 4000 device is concerned, our third device, that's the most exciting one. That's a multi-frequency device does exactly the same as the 1500 MDD, but now we can analyze total body water between extracellular fluid, that's the fluid outside the cell, and the fluid inside the cell, which is the intracellular water. By very low frequencies, uh, the current actually comes into the uh, body and the current hits the cell membrane and the resistance is high, so we can only measure the extracellular water. As at a much higher frequency, the current can now actually penetrate the membrane and we can measure both inside and outside the cell. The resistance is much lower. And by using those two ratios, we can uh, calculate our impedance uh, ratio. For highly trained um, athletes, people that are very healthy, muscular and healthy, the, uh, we will reflect a, a healthy um, illness marker for somebody who's critically ill or perhaps cancerous then uh, the ratio will be much poorer. The target market for the uh, quad scan is twofold. One is the sports science market. Here we need to look at the dehydration uh, of uh, sports people. We know that they are, if they are dehydrated intracellularly, they'll never perform to their maximum potential. So it's important to do that measure. On the medical side, we apply our illness marker. Critical care patients in intensive care wards, for example, is fluid shifts between the intracellular and the extracellular space becomes important to monitor that. Illness marker has been used as a prediction of outcome in the case of abdominal surgery patients. Uh, patients who with uh, kidney failure have to undergo hemodialysis uh, three times a week for about four or five hours, during which time the fluid is removed and the blood is purified. The key over here 
is that um, we try and achieve a dry weight scenario and when do you stop the hemodialysis? Here the illness marker can play an important role. So not only can we do whole body analysis, but we can also do segmental analysis. For example, uh, we can look at fluid shifts in the lungs by placing electrodes in certain strategic places. Um, rehabilitation, if you've had a broken arm or a broken leg, it's been in plaster for six weeks. There, after the plaster has come off, uh, we can start measuring the illness marker and see through exercise how the body cells have actually started to, to improve and that will be reflected with the, uh, with the marker. The same, same principle applies with stroke patients with paralyzed legs or arms and uh, with lymphedema, women with breast cancer where they've had the lymph node removed, there's a high chance that can, uh, that can be a buildup of edema building up in the arm or the leg through massage Again, by using the illness marker, we can monitor the rate of improvement. We can then look at the cellular uh, uh, status of cancer patients, HIV, anywhere where we have wasting disease, nutritional status of hospitalized patients and the elderly. Elderly is very important in nursing homes where they do um, suffer from dehydration. Um, we can also use our dehydration index in horses and we have a device there for home horse owners as well as for the uh, racing fraternity. The benefits of the illness marker, it's easy, it's quick, it only takes 11 seconds to do the measurement. It applies to any population group, whether you're Asian, Caucasian or African American, and any grain, uh, age group from neonates, newborn babies to the elderly. Extensive research continues internationally, pioneering this technology into new fields of medical science. I think BIA is an exciting and challenging future. The BodyStat team are dedicated to research, development and manufacture using proven techniques that are safe and reliable. We do hope we've changed your attitudes to health by creating an awareness of the need for regular monitoring of body composition. BodyStat. Changing attitudes to health.